Hey, what's up my radical squad? My name is Demarche Walker. Welcome back to my channel and I hope everyone is having a great day today. In this video, what I want to talk about is affirmative action. And um, from my understanding and from me growing up, um, affirmative action was put in place because of the racism and the systemic racism that was going on at the time. There was a lot of black people that couldn't get into certain schools because of their skin color. They couldn't get certain jobs or they would be able to get jobs with certain companies, but they would not be able to move up in certain positions within those companies because of their skin color, because of racism. And so affirmative action was put in place to be able to allow them to now apply for, you know, to go to different college, apply and be able to get into those colleges as well as apply for certain positions within the company and get those um, positions because they had a quota they had to meet. Each company had to have a certain amount of black people like in lower man management, mid management, and upper, upper level management. Once those quotas was met, then they could stop, basically stop hiring, you know, minorities and just continue to hire other groups of people or whoever was qualified for the job, however you want to look at it. But once they met, met those quotas, the company was fine. And so, now with the Supreme Court, they have kind of gotten through that out with the um, affirmative action. Except for in the military, like the military academy, they still hold the affirmative action in place. So, because you can, if you think about it, they still want people to be able to join the military if they're looking at it as a way to get a college education. So they don't want to put any limitations on that. So if they because they need soldiers, so they don't want to stop anyone. Because a lot of people might say, well, let me go to college through the military route. And so they don't want to hinder that by saying, no, we're going we're gonna to cancel out affirmative action. They want bodies in the military. So if something happened, a war break out or whatever, they have the people that they need. But in college like um, Harvard and things like that, they have taken away affirmative action. But with Harvard, they're saying that, you know, in the essays, they can still put in there how race has affected them. But I want to look at it from um, kind of a different standpoint. If you have this color skin, at some point in your time, you're going to feel, you're going to, um, feel racism in a certain way. It might not be directly directed at you, but you might feel it in some type of way. You're going to hear about it. You're going to see it. You're going to know it's, it's you're going to know that it exists. You cannot change a racist person viewpoint of you. You cannot change how they feel about you. You cannot change how they think about you. And you can't um, change any of that. You definitely can't change their opinion of you. A racist person is going to be always going to be a racist person, no matter what law may or may not be in place. And so you have to understand that this is the world that we live in, unfortunately. So you have to be aware of that. And you can't allow racist people to dictate your life. You cannot allow racist people to tell you what you can and cannot have. And so I'm saying that because if you think about it, even though affirmative action was in place and you can go to any college you want to graduate from college and what is your next step? to go out and get a job, to go out, you know, you, you did all this work to get a degree, so you're gonna to try to get a job within the field that is uh, um, equate to your degree. If you look back, even back, I think about seven years ago, they did a study and they proved that a lot of hiring agencies or HR, whoever did the hiring for certain companies, did not hire black people based on a name. If your name sounded black, they did not hire you. They did not even call you in for an interview or give you a call back. If your name sounded ethnic, you know, like a real hard, hard to pronounce name, ethnic, ethnicity name, they did not hire you. If you had what was an American name, a common American name, um, which may or may not be associated with being white, they would give that person a call back, um, have them come back in for an interview. So like I said, racism is going to affect you in one way or another, even if you don't know that it's affecting you. So you go to school 
to get an education, you got your degree, you know what you're doing, you qualify for a job, but just because of a name that you have, that they associate your name with being black and they say, okay, we don't want to hire this black person. So they passed over your um, application. So like I said, if a person is racist, they're going to be racist. But even with that in place, do that stop you from moving forward? Do that stop you from trying to do what you need to do? Do that stop you from trying to make progress in your life to get a job, to get an education? No. And don't let these people put that in your head that now that affirmative action is not in place, that it somehow affects you. It doesn't. It only affects you if you allow it to affect you. But if you just look at it as, okay, this is one door that's closed, but God will always open another door. If you look at it with that type of mentality, what's for me will be for me, no matter who is trying to stop me. Like I said, these elitist people, they do things to distract you. They do things to try to, you know, take the wind out of you, to take the sail out of you, to make you feel like, man, I'm, I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. You will make it. It doesn't depend on racist people if you if you make it or not. It depends on you and your mentality. Just keep moving forward. Just keep doing what you're doing because if, if you apply for one school and you don't get in, apply for another. So it's not stopping your education. You might apply for a school that you really want to get into and it has nothing to do with affirmative action. It has nothing to do with your race. You might not get in that school. Then what are you not going to say, I'm not going to go to college. I'm not going to, you know, further my education because I didn't get into this school, what would you have done before? You would have applied to a different school. It may not, a lot of people, even with the permanent action in place, a lot of people did not get into their first choice, their second choice, their third choice. You know, some people ended up going to community college first and then transfer, transfer their credits to a four-year college to continue their education. So don't look at it as, oh, now I'm being hindered. Now I'm being stopped. You're not. Only if you allow that information. That's all it is, is information. If you allow that information to get into you and to determine how you're going to live your life and which way you're going to go, then yes, it will affect you. But if you just look at it as just something that you can just jump over and keep moving, that it's not, that it's not a brick wall and something that is low enough for you to jump over, Keep jumping, keep moving, keep going forward. Don't stop doing what you want to do to better your life. And don't allow anyone else, like I said, to tell you what you can and cannot do as far as when it comes to your education. And don't let these elitists get into your head and try and make it feel like the only way you succeed or succeed it is because of affirmative action. No, you got there because you was good enough to be there. You got there because you were smart enough to be there. You got there because you did what you needed to do to get there. So don't allow them to attach this, oh, you only got there because we, we allowed you to do. No, you didn't allow me. You didn't allow us to do anything. That's And, and take it kind of like back to the Bible. That's just like in Exodus when the Hebrew, Hebrews were slave in Egypt. And the Pharaoh got upset because Moses kept messing with him about letting the slaves go. So he told them, okay, we want y'all to continue to make bricks, but without straw. We're not going to give you the straw. You're going to have to go out there and find your own straw, whatever. But we still expect you to make bricks, and we still expect you to make the same amount of bricks you was making when we was giving you the straw to make the bricks. So they still, you know, it's like things been put in their way, things been taken away from them, things, you know, different things been happening, but they're still expected to meet their goal. We are a people that things, in spite of everything that has been done to us, not only we have we met the goals, we have exceeded in make, um, making those goals. So that's the same mentality we need to keep moving forward. Don't let affirmative action affect you. Just keep moving forward. Peace.